Hey, greetings everyone. This is Greg again and uh, in this video we're going to be continuing to look at the visual scripting options in Udemy and we've already covered several of them and this one is going to be uh, even a new approach with uh, using behavior trees. So a different way of building games. Uh, it, it will help you for your lateral thinking if you're a game designer and you really want to explore uh, uh, the depths of how you can really uh, architecture games in different ways. So if you like this video, please go below, subscribe, click that little notification icon so you can get notified. Now, uh, we've been working through some of these visual scripting options. We saw uh, Bolt uh, first and Playmaker, and I uh, then also introduced Node Canvas as well. And uh, now a uh, behavior designer is going to be a, a little bit different. In fact, it's kind of a lot different. I would say that the behavior trees are a, a very probably uh, well spent time for any game designer to spend time with because it's probably the one area where more so even than Bolt uh, or even Playmaker does is it uh, understanding behavior trees and how you can use them uh, really can add a lot of depth to your game and by and they also uh, have a lot of uh, I think benefit a lot from the visual nature of the of, of, of scripting that is kind of harder to see I think a little bit when you're writing C sharp scripts that um, may, maybe that isn't as easy to conceptualize as uh, behavior trees are for branching uh, logic and things like that so let's take a look at how we can build uh, this little mechanism to fly the bird using a behavior tree. And so this is behavior designer. Be you know, if you have other behavior tree visual assets, they'll probably work similarly, similar concepts. And so we go to our bird and we come down to add the component. And what we want to do is go to behavior designer here. And notice there's a behavior tree component. And we can say fly little bird as our I didn't quite spell that right, did I? Miss my L. Fly little bird. And we could put in a description and so forth, but we don't really need to do that. And let's just go ahead and hit open, and we'll see uh, it brings up a little welcome, and there's good documentation. Behavior designer is well documented. It's a nice system. Now, the task we really want to use for this is really simple. It's like everything with this Flappy Bird. Is We basically are just going to use a, a sequencer. And so I can right-click, add task, come down to composites, and go to sequence. And it gives us this entry. So anytime it starts running, it's going to come here to entry. Um, almost like a state machine would say, hey, a, a state machine could fire this off and say, do this behavior while you're in this state. Um, and then what a sequence is going to do is it's going to do each action in sequence uh, as, as, as they're true. So the first action will need to be true, and then once that one becomes true, then the second one will fire off, and once that one becomes true, then the third one will fire off, and it will go down that sequence. So if the first one stays false, it won't ever go to the second one. If that second one never goes to true, it'll never go to the third one, that, and that's how this works, which is perfect for what we want. So I'm going to come here to add task and under actions. Uh, and this is where um, I get uh, a little, I, I would say, you have to know where to go a bit in behavior designer. And I had to even start this over a bit after doing it once before because you have to know that I'm doing, okay, I'm doing a conditional. It's not an action. I'm, I'm checking to see if this key goes down and I go to unity and then I can find input and I can choose, you know, if I want uh, is key down. Um, and so I'll choose that and I can get my selection here and now I can wire it up. So it works and it's it's well laid out, but it doesn't have the kind of the cool search features maybe of the other three even that we've seen up to this point, meaning uh, Playmaker, Bolt, and Node Canvas. But I also might be missing a search option. so. Uh, I'm not a behavior designer expert. What we can do here though is say we want a, the space bar to be what we're checking for. And so this is just all you have to do there. As soon as that space comes down, this is going to fire off to true, which means we'll go to the next one in the sequence here. And I can add action and let's go ahead here and we will 
now want to actually do a uh, set property basically and do the um, the velocity on our bird so I can come here and say set property value like this and uh, wire it up so it's ready to go and when I click this notice it says what the target game object is is going to be and it, it really is as simple as just dragging the bird into here like so and then it wants to know the component name so we can find our rigid body too it's pulling it off there for us and now we come to our property name and there's velocity and there's our value one and that is how you can wire up a flappy bird mechanism in behavior designer if I run this it's not gonna work I'm not gonna run it because there's no use wasting your time we need to have this restart when complete and this is basically almost like turning this into an update it just means it, when it starts it's gonna enter it's gonna run this sequence but and it'll wait here as soon as you hit that key down it's gonna come here set the property value but if we didn't have this restart when complete it would just fall out and when we'd be done so we need to keep it always restarting when complete and so here we go notice how it's an X here and then when I hit spacebar this one fires you can't see the stay uh, checked for very long because it's instant but you can see how it works and remember I have the box colliders turned off so don't freak out that the birds flying through the through there um, I did that on purpose but you can see how it works so with that said that gives you kind of an overview of behavior designer now behavior design is super super powerful uh, if you guys want more videos please you know remember to subscribe uh, like and, and more importantly comment and say yeah you'd like to maybe see a behavior designer course or uh, or included in my uh, mojo's uh, game developer program thanks for watching and we'll be wrapping this up pretty soon we've already covered a lot of the main visual ones I do want to show behavior bricks uh, at some point soon because it's free people are gonna I think like that uh, aspect of it and uh, um, we'll see where we can get with it so talk to you guys later thanks